this this side is gonna be darker than this side. So I'm just darkening the, the, the base of the hairs. So you have a tip here, and then the base is gonna be darker. I'll just suggest that it's coming off from the back out. And a lot of the, the a lot of the hairs in this area are dark because there's more shadow. This side is a lighter side. So I'm just darkening some of the hairs. So it's not gonna be this side is not gonna have as many as many hairs, except for a couple of highlights, highlighted hairs. This tool is great for, for blending tight areas. It's it's weird, but this is a um, a manicure tool. The tip is made out of silicone, so it, it's got a a firm tip. So it's easy to to maneuver around, and it's easy to to blend like tight areas, like small areas that you want to work on. barely pressing and it and it spreads and it moves the pencil around easily. Again what I'm doing here I'm just darkening the so you darkening the base so this is one layer and you have another layer of hair here another layer here and then a couple of small hairs coming off from the, from here so I'm just darkening the base, and then I'm gonna highlight a couple of hairs. Let's say from from this layer that overlap this layer down here. It just suggests that there's layers. I'm really excited with the way it's turning out. It's looking it's looking really good. I still gotta do this all the way around because I still have the snout here and then the nose. The nose is what's gonna bring everything together because this section right here it's gonna be dark and it's just gonna make the whole thing just jump out, stand out much more. So I can't wait to start start on the nose. And that's why I'm not completely gonna finish the snout until I have the nose completed because that's gonna tell me whether I need to dark in some areas or light in some areas so i'm going to be using the nose as reference because i don't want the nose to stand out too much or for it to blend in too much into the into the snow so this is a this is a part that's very tedious This one turns out the way I want it. I think I'm gonna do a couple more in this style. So I'll have the the face and then the black the black background. Again, it's gonna be like a black animal. For example, a, a, a panther, a black wolf, like animals like that. And then again, doing the same thing, having the snout, the nose, and then just the eyes. You know, in this size.
and the eyes I still gotta rework uh, work on them again it's for the same reason once I have everything done I'm gonna compare them and see what needs to be darkened so everything works together See, once I have that, I'll, I'll add these, these little hairs. I'll add them along this side too. I hope to finish it by this week, so I need to put in a lot of, a lot of hours this week. My goal is to finish it by Friday. So I need to work on this as much as I could. As much as I can and then we'll see. I already have the next sheet of paper on my next drawing. It's set up already, so it's gonna be plus I need to have this one for a show. I'll have a show coming up at the end of this month. So it needs to be done by then. So again, you guys, if you have any questions, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them as, as much as I can. And, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my website, onlypencil.com, for all my other drawings. And check out my store. I've added a couple of uh, new prints on there. And it would really uh, help my channel and also help me so I can continue doing what I love to do, which is this draw. So yeah, so thanks for watching you guys and, and I'll see you next time.